Hello Explorers, welcome back. So we are going to do Super Book Sunday, yay! Um, <laughs> before we get started on that though, I do need to do my dailies. Um, I got a day behind on the August one because I lost, like I, I, one, I was super busy, two, I didn't quite line things up properly. So I know you saw August 2nd on August 3rd. We're going to fix everything today. You're going to get August 3rd and 4th so that we're caught up and hopefully can get this corrected. So let's start with that. And I brought a $10 bill so that we can just go ahead and condense it all at one time um, because we're going to do 3rd and 4th since today is the 4th. So we've got 4 and 1 is 5, 3 and 2 is 5, so we should have $10. So we're going to take this 3 out and put in this 10 so we are now caught up and I'm going to color in the three and the four. So let's do orange. We are, how's the weather where you guys are? Um, of course, you guys know I hate the rain. I hate it so much. And what happened? Um, the entire time we were in Mississippi, it rained nonstop. Let me uh, let me start start over. So when we were in Texas, when we were when we were down in uh, Galveston, it rained pretty much nonstop. We had one day that it didn't rain, and that was the day that we went to Texas City to watch or to um, go to the Texas Lagoon Fest. And every single other day it rained, and then we left Texas. We headed to you know Louisiana. We stayed in Louisiana for a couple days. The weather actually wasn't bad while we were there. And then we went to Mississippi. And while we were in Mississippi, it rained like every single day that we were there. It was like the storm was following us. So then we get to Florida and it has now rained here almost every single day. I am not joking. You guys, this, this storm is following us. It's literally following us. And I despair buys the rain. But I'm actually realizing I did not grab this binder. Let me grab this binder and I'll be right back. Okay. So, we are now following, I guess, um, a tropical storm, Debbie. So we'll see, uh, We'll see how that goes. So last left off here, I don't think today's, which will get recorded in the next video, I don't think today's is going to be um, really anything because I forgot to plug my watch in last night because when I go to Disney, my watch doesn't last a full day at Disney. So I bring my charger with me and my charger, which means my charger didn't make it back next to my bed where I plug my watch in. It ended up staying in my... Disney backpack and I just didn't plug it in yet so whenever I record today's walking it's going to be a lot less than what it actually is but we left off at 15,962 on Tuesday so Wednesday I did 2,817 we didn't go anywhere Wednesday I think you can kind of see a pattern when I don't go anywhere we kind of just do stuff around the house so I owe that two dollars and then Thursday, we went to Disney, but we got rained out, like, bad. If you guys saw my Instagram stories, it was so bad. Um, water was pouring down my face when I got into the truck. Um, walking to the truck, I had to stop several times because I couldn't see. Like, it was, like, raining sideways directly in your face. You couldn't see, like, because the water was literally just running down your face. It was like taking a shower outside. So I got 8,571 steps because we did have to leave uh, Animal Kingdom early. So far, oh, this $10. And then yesterday we went to Epcot. Um, yesterday was Friday. We went to Epcot. And I did 12,009 steps. Um, Would have done more. No, not really. 12,009. Um. Sorry, one of my kids is crying and I don't know why. We, uh, 
Corey can take care of it. We went to Epcot and we just did photos, you guys, because I have a new challenge coming out. I actually have several new challenges coming out and I cannot wait. I'm working on them today so that hopefully they can be in uh, the next video that I film because I am so excited about these challenges. I, I just can't wait. I really just can't wait. So I owe this um, $22. So let me pull... 21 and 22. So $22 going in the yellow brick walk and save. I did have somebody ask me where this challenge is from. This is one of mine and it is available in my Etsy as a digital download. Um, and if you, if you buy this one and you want the roll and save, just let me know. I'm happy to send it to you. Um, I'm not selling it because I, I needed to re to fix it. I don't like how the sizing of it came out. I need to redo it, and I just haven't had time to do that. So if you would like that one, um, if you purchase this one and you would like that one, just let me know. So in this one, we now have 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, $209 in this challenge. That is so exciting. Um, I'm hoping I can get this booked. I'm still waiting on the City of Pigeon Forge to let me know what dates so that I can actually pay for my Land of Oz tickets because we're doing it in the same trip. So until then, I can't really pay for them, and I'm, so I'm hoping they don't all sell out. I know all Saturdays are sold out at this point. But now let's get into the Bucks Binder. We have $100 here. And I'm going to set these to a side because we have star notes. Look at that. I found these two star notes when I was uh, doing my cash condensing or um, it was either my cash condensing or my reallocation. I don't remember, but I found them within my money that I can't believe I missed at some point. A, B, C, D, E, F. So, and you guys would be so proud of me before I st started filming. I actually printed out the uh, new trackers that I needed. I even cut them down. I punched them, so they are all in the book. If you guys noticed, the uh, um, even the August one was in the book. Like everything is printed and cut down. I even printed a new shut the box. Like I was on top of it today. I think something just got delivered. It's so weird because at this campground, they deliver it directly to our campsite. I'm used to like every other campground we've stayed at, um, including our long-term one in uh, Vegas. They would deliver it to the office and then you just had to go pick it up. But here, they deliver it directly to, the, to your site, which I actually really, really hate. And here is why. So I have had a Fabletics order that was supposed to be delivered in early July. And it got sent back because they delivered to the site. And at that point, I was stuck in Mississippi. So my site was just an empty pad and they weren't going to just leave my package on my site. So rather than taking it into the office, they just did return to sender. So then <laughs> Fabletics went ahead and reshipped it for me. What happened? It just happened to arrive a couple of hours before we got back from Crystal River. So once again they return to sender. Um, the only thing that gets delivered to the office is USPS. So if it comes from the actual post office, it gets delivered to the office and we have a mailbox up there. But if it comes FedEx, if it comes UPS, if it comes uh, like anything else, D, uh, what is that? I forgot, DHL, any of those, they get delivered directly to our site. So I did not get my... July Fabletics, which was really frustrating. I just got an iBook and I don't um, save iBooks, so we're going to swap it out. I don't know how I missed that. I think it's because I saved iBooks, iBooks before and I've just decided it's not worth it because I get like two ever. Um, so yeah, that part's really frustrating because it's fine for other people, but with how much I'm actually gone from my campsite, it just doesn't work for me. Here's another iBook switch that one out too. Do I have I don't know if I have any more ones. I need to go to the bank 
Oh, yep, I do. Okay, so I guess we're getting a G-Buck. So, um, yeah, with how much we leave our site to travel, it's super, super frustrating. So I think what I'm going to do is talk to my neighbor and just see if, like, certain things, if it's iffy on whether or not I'm going to be home, um, if I can just have it delivered to their site and then I'll just grab it. That way I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I did do a tester, though. So this next Fabletics, I know I'm going to be home when it arrives. But what I decided to do is remove my site number from my... Uh, delivery address and see if they'll just deliver it to the office because there won't be a site number on it. Because the thing is, my Fabletics actually, last month, it came in two shipments. So they shipped, it was a, it was an outfit for my husband and they shipped a, um, it was hat, socks, shorts, and a top. They shipped the hat and socks in one bag and the short and top in another bag. Well, the hat and socks arrived and they delivered it to the office. So whatever that mail or whatever that delivery driver, whoever that delivery driver was, went ahead and delivered it to my front office. And then whoever the delivery driver was that was doing the, um, that had the other package with the shorts and top, you know, the part I would have rather have gotten, that one keeps just return to sender because when we're not here. So I'm hoping that if there's no site number on there that they will just go ahead and, um deliver it to the front office so we're, we're using this as a tester to see but hopefully if not then i am going to talk to my neighbors and see if i can just have my packages delivered to them so i have four more ibucks i don't know what i don't know how i missed those so i'm just grabbing the top four dollars from my cash shopping one two three four and those will be the four that we put in here i'm usually pretty good about pulling out the ones that i don't save but okay so very first thing I'm going to do is put away these star notes so I don't accidentally put them in another um, envelope so we have six dollars in star notes going in so now we have five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 dollars in star notes. And I did not print a tracker for these. Um, I need to get some more black ink and I need to get some more card stock. So the ones I printed for this binder, um, they're actually not on card stock. So let's start with A books. I'm gonna go ahead and move these L to the spot where A was. Sorry, you guys can't see any of this. My husband streamed last night, and so all of his stream stuff is out, and it's kind of like pushing, like I don't have the, the space that I normally have, because his laptop is right here. I'm actually like on his laptop. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars going into A books. So I believe that'll put us here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So. What is everybody up to? Like I said, we are tracking this tropical storm. And. Oh, I hate rain so much. I like texted my friend that is a Florida native because I've lived in Florida before but living in a, a fifth wheel in Florida is a whole lot different so I texted my friend because uh, the governor here called for a state of emergency and my county is included and so is the county that she's in and so uh, I was like hey so state of emergency was declared for our counties what do we need to do I said, because in Indiana, when they declare a state of emergency, it's always, it's in the winter because of, you know, ice storms, snow storms and such. I said, and it literally just means don't be on the road or you're going to get a ticket because it's too icy or too dangerous to be on the road. But that's all that, that's pretty much all that it means. And she was like, yeah, pretty much the same thing here. If you commit a crime, like the penalties are a lot higher. Um, and it pretty, pretty much just means that it's probably going to flood. 
I was like, okay, cool. She said, and it just means that, like, if there's, um, by him declaring a state of emergency, if we need resources, it allows the federal government to come in and give us resources, uh, if needed. So I was like, all right, cool. Just watch it. So then it was supposed to hit us, like, really bad yesterday. It never even rained yesterday. We actually left Epcot because we were like, we want to leave before it starts, um, pouring because it looked like it was getting ready to, like, the, it got really, really dark all of a sudden. We're like, yeah, let, we're not, we're not having another Animal Kingdom situation. Let's get out of here because it ended up taking us over an hour to get home from Animal Kingdom and we lived 10 minutes from Disney and it took us over an hour just because of the traffic trying to get out. We were in standstill traffic. So we're like, yeah, we're not doing that again. Um, let's just go before that hits. Plus we had finished all the stuff we needed. We went there to get done. We didn't ride any rides. We literally just went to do photos yesterday. That's what's so nice about being close is that we can do that. So let me count these A bucks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, and then it didn't even end up raining. We left, we left uh, Epcot. We went to Target because we haven't been to Target in so long. And there were, my husband went to um, Walmart the other day to like get a couple of grocery items. And they were out of almost, F oh, I'm sorry, not Walmart, or not Walmart. He went to Publix because we're like, walking distance from a Publix. So he went to Publix because they had a water refill station, a Primo water, which that's all we drink is Primo water. So B bucks, we are putting in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, Primo water is pretty much, is pretty much all we drink unless we drink Dasani. Don't, I don't want to hear any negativity about Dasani. It's all I like. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and so I had looked up where we could like refill our Primo bottles because I, now that we are stationary for a little bit until our next trip, which is a little ways away, um, at least our next trip where we're taking the RV. We've got some other, we've got a couple of staycations planned here in Orlando. I've got a bunch of partnerships here. Um, our next like trip where we're taking the RV is over a month away. It is about a month away. So we were able to set up our water, like our beverage station, which is so nice because we can stop spending money on water and ice. I got a new ice maker. Um, let me just start from scratch so that I don't keep like bouncing all over the place with what I'm talking about. Um, so we're basically setting the RV up, which we haven't done since we left Vegas. And it is so nice, you guys. We're spending so much less money having everything set up because um, if you're not familiar, when you travel in a fifth wheel, like when it's in motion moving, you can't have anything on your counters. You can't have like anything, no loose items. So everything on your counters has to get put away. Um, I have open shelves above one of my counters and that's where we have like our water set up. So everything on that shelf has to come down, which is all of our water bottles, um, like all of our water cups, everything has to come down from there. The table that I film on, we have to lay it flat. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that goes into packing up. And so it's not always worth it to unpack when we get places. And because of that, we haven't unpacked our water station because that's like a lot to set up. So... Now that we're here for a little bit, I'm like, oh my gosh, we can finally set this back up, which means I can go back to making protein shakes. The kids will have access to um, water and stuff, and I can stop buying like Gatorades and juices and all of that because they will have like our full water station. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hopefully next time we'll be able to bundle this. Um, but we needed to refill our water jugs. So I looked up like where we could fill them. And there was, there's a fill station at the Publix right down the street from us. And he needed to go to the grocery store anyway. So he was like, okay, I'm just going to go into Publix then, which I should have known was a bad idea. We've lived in Florida before. Publix is expensive. It is not Smith's. Okay. I love Smith's, which is what we have on the West coast. Smith's, Ralph's, Kroger's love them. But Publix is expensive, and I just have never liked that grocery store. I know people in Florida swear by it. I don't like it. 
Um, C is for cruise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Which is probably gonna go into car meet. No, we'll just put it in cruise. Eleven. Right? Oh my goodness. So he filled that up, he went to the store, and turns out they did not have like a single thing that we needed. So this would be 10, this would be 11. Um, and the things that they did have were insanely expensive. So I'm like, cool, we need to go to another store then. And when we went to Walmart, they also didn't have some of the things that we were looking for. Um, so yesterday we finally made it to Target. We were able to get everything that we were looking for. And actually, even Target didn't have one of the things that I needed original, like initially nowhere on the floor um like in the aisle it should it would have been in nowhere on the end caps thankfully i was not about to have three stores just simply not have what i needed so i looked it up in the target app and sure enough it said that they had it on hand so i was able to get a team member and she was like actually it shows those just came in today and they, that's why they're not on the floor let me go grab them for you so she did um, and it was Dr. Pepper Zero, which brings me to my next topic. Um, if you are following me on Instagram, then you know that I recently started GLP-1s, which is, um, I'm on terzepatide. So prior to that, I have been increasing my water intake. As you guys know, I've been walking as much as possible. Um, trying to watch what I'm eating. We've pretty much cut out takeout altogether, at least for me. The kids will still get stuff at Disney. I'm not really eating at Disney. I don't like Disney food, to be honest. Um, to begin with, I'd rather eat at home. So it, that was not hard for me whatsoever. But, um, just last week I actually started Terzepatide and I have partnered with a clinic and physician in Los Angeles. The clinic is called Regenics and they have been awesome. They, I had a few telehealth consultations with the physician to make sure that I was a good candidate. They went over my medical history and all of my stuff. Um, and then they got me set up on it and they mailed everything to me. Like they overnighted all the medications and everything the pharmacy did. They, they sent my prescription over to the pharmacy and the pharmacies sent everything over to me. So I started that last week. Um, so I'm really, really watching what I eat and drink and everything, and I'm mainly drinking water, but I'm one of those people that cannot drink water with my food. I don't care how healthy I am. I cannot drink water with my food. I just simply can't do it. Um, it's never going to be me. So I do, I do drink, uh, Dr. Pepper Zero because it has zero carbs in it. And no place has had it. Walmart didn't have it. Publix didn't have it. Target didn't have it. But Target ended up having it in the back. So we were saved. All right. C is for cruise. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25 exactly, which means we get to bundle. This is exciting. Do I have my... I don't even know if I have my... Uh, my paper clips over here. You guys, I truly don't know if I have my paper clips over here. I don't think I do. Let me check the other drawer. I did. Okay. Because I need these paper clips. So, um, if you've been looking into wanting to do a terzepatide, a semi-glutide, uh, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it is a GLP-1, basically the same thing as, uh, Ozempic. However, um, from my understanding is that these are just the weight loss, weight loss part of them. I'm going to set this to the side. I don't know where to put it. Um, I do have a discount code in my bio on Instagram. I can also send you that discount code for the specific clinic that I'm working with. They have made it super easy. Um, they don't charge to meet with the physician, which is nice. Like it's, 
at least they didn't charge me. I'm pretty sure that they meant they said that it was included in everything, but I will double check that. So D for debt, we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far, I'm actually really liking it. I'm on the lowest dose, uh, which is 2.5 mg per week. So I do one shot every, um, one injection every Thursday. And I've had zero side effects. Both times that I've taken it, I actually took it and went straight to Disney. Like, in my most recent video that I posted yesterday, you can actually see I am already dressed for Disney. I took it, did my video while I was taking it, and then we headed out the door. Um, so, I have not had any side effects. I have a few friends that are also doing it that also have not had side effects. I have had one friend that she said it just made her really nauseous. Um, she did. She was not on... I think the only difference between hers and the rest of us that are doing it um, is that she was on semi-glutide, so I don't know if that's gonna if that makes a difference at all. But she was on semi-glutide. The rest of us are on terzepatide. When I was speaking to the physician about the difference, and we were deciding what was gonna be best for me, um, he did say that he doesn't recommend semi-glutide if you're wanting to like actually lose weight. That semi-glutide is more of a maintenance after you've done the terzepatide. That terzepatide is more, um, more effective, essentially. So that's what I decided to start on. And then if I want to switch over to semi-glutide once I'm happy with everything, then I can. So D is for debt. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We get to bundle this one too. Yay. I love bundling because it just means we're that much closer to completing the challenge and getting to reallocate it, which is obviously always very exciting. So now towards... The next bundle, we have $5. Okay. E is for emergency. We are putting in one, two, three, four, five dollars. Ooh, that means we're going to bundle this one, too. So, one, two, Two, three, four, five. We'll just go down here so that I don't have to count these. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would share that. I th do think that I need to increase my dose. Um, and they told me just to set up another telehealth appointment with my physician um, that I've been assigned from the clinic uh, to talk about that. So I'm going to do that, I think, Monday. But I wanted to give it two weeks on this dosage first. So, yeah, I've had no side effects yet after two injections so far. So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I don't know why I keep closing these. I should just leave them out. Clearly, I am bundling a couple today which is really really exciting because that means on this one we are over halfway done now we have two dollars towards the next bundle once we have four bundles then this will be complete and we will move along okay so this one is printed on paper so i probably let's take uh, this one's all messed up let's take this and just put it underneath Hopefully that'll help. Um, F. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 F bucks. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The last food one went towards debt. This one will go towards uh, travel sinking funds. 
since I am alternating them each each time I complete one. So that's all I have to say about my uh, terzepatide. If you want to follow my journey, I am posting every single week um, on my page or in stories as just like a quick update. Um, now, let me see. What else? Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys. So I've had a lot of you ask me about Hungry Root because I've mentioned that my, uh, first of all, I've been posting about it like crazy, like in stories on my page because I truly love it. Yes, I do have a partnership with them. However, my partnership only states that I need to post once a month and I can post whatever I want. Like they don't have to approve my content. There's nothing specific that I have to say. I have full creative freedom and everything to say whatever I want to say about it. Um, obviously, if it's something negative, they would prefer that I talk to them first to see if there, I can find a solution, but I literally cannot say a negative thing about this brand. I've posted for them so many additional times because I really, truly love it. Um, I have been ordering every week since we got to Florida because let me start off with my partnership with them started earlier this year and I had just a one-time partnership and I loved it so much I was like please work with me more so they signed me again for a three-month partnership that three-month partnership was supposed to already be over but I just really love it so <laughs> what happened was when I was in Vegas there was a little hiccup and I didn't realize that I needed to have my selection made by Monday at 7 p.m. Because whatever is on in your cart by uh, on Monday at 7 p.m., at least that's my date. Everybody's date's a little bit different based off your area. But if I didn't, whatever is in your cart on Monday at 7 p.m., uh, that's what's finalized and that's what's shipped out. And I didn't realize that. So I had it shipping to my, my house and not my um, campsite in Vegas. So I missed that shipment. They, I reached out to customer service and they were like, not a problem. They refunded me the money, the $200 and I went on, a, you know, went about my ways. Well then <laughs> I ordered my next box. I absolutely loved it. And then we left Vegas and I forgot to change my address once again, but this time it wasn't my fault. My, a my partnership contact, my PR contact, I didn't know she had already s turned my services back on because I hadn't signed the contract yet. So my first box, I didn't go in there and adjust anything because I didn't know I had a box coming. Um, G is for gas. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, so the box got shipped to Vegas and we were no longer in Vegas. Not a problem. Reached out to customer service. They were like, yeah, no problem. Put the money back in my account. Went on about my way. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now, mind you, I'm reaching out to customer service. So this is the exact same customer service that everybody would get. Um, it's, it has nothing to do with me partnering with them. So... This is now the second time that they have refunded my account for a mix-up with, like, no questions asked, no issue, like, no problem whatsoever. Then I ordered while we were in, uh, I ordered my next box when we were in, um, where was it? When we were in Louisiana, I ordered my next box. And the issue was, it got delayed. So FedEx delayed the box like significantly, like three days. And so we were not there when it arrived. Reached out to customer service, no questions asked, they refunded the box. So yeah, I've had a lot of problems with the shipping, but none of them were Hungry Roots problem and yet they still corrected everything for me. So then the next time I set it up to ship to Florida because we were supposed to be in Florida the, the you know, the day that it was going to be arriving. We ended up getting stuck in Mississippi. 
I went in there and I thought that I changed the address in time and apparently I didn't. I missed the cutoff. So they printed the label and the label was sending it to Florida and I was obviously not here. I reached out to customer service. They refunded the box. So they refunded my box like four or five times. Um, and then they felt so bad over the constant shipping issues because twice it was that FedEx delayed it, which obviously the company cannot control what FedEx does because the company pays for it to be overnighted. Um, but they can't control if FedEx delays it. So both times that FedEx delayed it, they had no problem. They took care of it. And even the times that it was my own fault, they had no problem. They took care of it. So now that we've been in Florida, I've been getting a box every week, and um, I am obsessed with it. The food is so good. I've been posting the recipes in my stories, and I actually just posted my favorite recipe from them in uh, on my actual page. Now, mind you, nowhere in my contract does it say that I need to post anything about them in stories. It was literally one post on my feed a month. So anything additional is simply because I truly love this company. Um, the customer service is unmatched and the food is so delicious. And the best part about it is that uh, I know I sound like an ad, but when I really love a company, like I feel like I just need to share because these are the kind of things I wish other people would share is like when they come across a company that they really love. Um, I know that it, sometimes it, my opinion doesn't hold as much weight because I do have partnerships, but you guys know that I am fully transparent. I will not post a partnership if it's not any good. The amount of times I have not posted for a brand because... I was not pleased with them. All right, so G-Bucks, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, we're so close to doing a third bundle on this. Hopefully next time. Um, H-Bucks, what do we have? We have three H-Bucks. One, two, three. All right, here. So, yeah, if you are looking at wanting to do um, a meal delivery kit, definitely look into them. I have done everything from... Because even when I don't partner with them, it is something that we like to do. It's something I like to do to try new recipes. Um, so, I have paid out of pocket for many of them. I've done HelloFresh. I've done every plate. I've done... Um, Green Chef, I've done um, Factor, I've done like Butcher Box, like I have done so many of them just to try out different ones. The only ones I have an ever repurchased is uh, HelloFresh and now Hungry Root. And I will not even go back to HelloFresh after trying Hungry Root. The one thing that I really, really like about Hungry Root is that I'm a super picky eater. And I don't eat pork, I don't eat tomatoes, and I don't eat mushrooms. So I can actually go into the recipe and I can remove any ingredients that I want. And not only will they not send me those ingredients, but they will actually take that off of what that meal costs me. Um, they work off of points, so each meal is so many points. So they will take those points off and put them back in my wallet. I do that for ingredients that I won't use because I don't like them, but I also do it for things that I already have in my pantry. Like one of my favorite recipes from them is the, it's a ribeye with um, fingerling potatoes and uh, cheesy spinach. I always have spinach and I never use all of it because I do a chicken recipe that calls for just two cups of spinach, of baby spinach. So I always have spinach in my fridge that's about to go bad because... I don't use it in anything else. So with this recipe on Hungry Roo, I can go in because I order like two or three of those a week, like that exact recipe because I love it so much. Um, and I can just remove the spinach off of there and just go pick up my own spinach or use what I have in the fridge. Um, same thing. We did a cheesy pesto chicken ciabatta sandwich, like lunch meal. I always have 
sharp cheddar in my fridge always I always have every kind of cheese you could ever need in my fridge because we love cheese and we use all different kinds so I can go into there into that recipe and remove any of the cheese and don't have to worry about it I always remove the spinach the broccoli the cheese and the breads the reason for this is because I don't like to get produce from meal kits because it doesn't I don't always know when I'm going to want to cook that. And a lot of times if you don't cook it right away, the produce will go bad. So I prefer to just pick up the produce when I'm ready to cook it. Because the meat always stays good longer than the produce. So I love that that is an option. And that I'm not penalized for it. And I'm not still paying for it. So in HBox we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh. Hopefully we get to bundle this one next time, but who knows, because H-Bucks are not something that I come across as frequently. Alright, next we have J is for Japan, and we're adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ooh, a lot of J. A lot of J-Bucks. So we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I did print a tracker for this one, but I decided not to cut it out and everything because it's on regular paper. And because we already have a couple of J bundles, so it just felt pointless. I'm going to wait until we get to 100, and then I'll start the new tracker. L is for Legoland because we completed the CD ladder one. So we're putting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 L bucks. Holy moly, almost a full... Um, almost a full bundle right off the bat I said 19 right so that would put me down here so we're gonna do red for the first row I'm not gonna make this as complicated as I did for myself last time because that was horrible so if you're looking for some new food recommendations uh, definitely keep an eye on my stories because we share the recipes like whenever we cook them in my Instagram stories. I actually tend to share a lot of food recipes in there. Um, I know everybody keeps asking for my husband's uh, broccoli, cheddar broccoli soup because he made it for me again the other day. And I just need to get him to actually like sit down and write it down for me. I actually don't know what he does to make it because I've never made it. It's one of his recipes. So I can't help with that one. We just got to get on him about that. Because everyone keeps asking me on Instagram for it too. And I'm like, I can't do anything. It's not my recipe. I don't know it. So. I kind of wish this orange would go out already because it doesn't write nicely. The tip is like really rough. And I want to throw it away, but I won't throw it away if it's still coloring. Plus, I have a replacement for this color. Or really, really similar. I'm going to do this one in primary colors since uh, mine is purple. Basically, I'm just going to do the color of those Lego bricks up there. Okay. So we have $19 going into L Bucks. And that is officially all of the $100 that I came with for Super Buck Sunday. And we even had Star Notes this week. How exciting. And we completed three bundles. I believe we're going to complete two or three bundles next week, too. I mean, we should. There's no reason we shouldn't. So very very exciting but that is all that i have for you guys today and i will see you back here tomorrow for magic mini monday so until next time bye